bad people don't burn in hell. They become possessed playthings in Stuart Gordon's Dolls. Produced by Brian Usna for Charlie Band's Empire Pictures, this dark fairy tale follows an elderly couple who use magic to turn their visitors into living dolls. Get ready, because it's time to play and raise the dead. Dolls opens with the dysfunctional Bauer family. Divorced father David is forced to drag daughter Judy along on a holiday with his second wife Rosemary. Bitter David has no love for Judy and probably married wealthy Rosemary for her money, as she's certainly no picnic. An already difficult trip then takes a turn for the worse when their car gets stuck in a sudden thunderstorm and they take refuge in an adjacent mansion. They sneak inside and discover that it's home to toy maker Gabriel Hartwick and his wife Hillary. After a tense introduction, Gabriel invites them into the kitchen to dry off. The couple takes an immediate liking to neglected daughter Judy and are saddened to see that she doesn't have a doll. Judy explains that she had a teddy bear but he got, uh, lost in the woods. Gabriel offers to give her a substitute in the form of Mr. Punch and they're soon joined by Ralph and hitchhikers Isabel and Enid. Ralph picked them up after the Bowers ignored them and he ran into similar car trouble near the mansion. Like Judy, the Hartwicks take a shine to Ralph, who's a big kid at heart. With the storm not letting up, Gabriel invites them all to spend the night, leading them to separate rooms. Playtime begins as dolls scattered throughout the mansion spring to life and start offing the more unsavory house guests. After the storm canceled the hitchhiker's plans to steal Ralph's car, Isabel talks Enid into swiping antiques, but the dolls prevent it by giving headstrong Isabel an apt punishment. Judy sees the dolls, whom she believes to be elves, dragging Isabel's body off, but attempts to alert her father are met with hostility. Only Ralph is willing to go along for the ride when he finds blood on Judy's slippers, and they search the mansion while the dolls dispatch the other guests. Rosemary makes a fatal leap from an upstairs window, and Enid faces a toy soldier firing squad. As people keep disappearing, David blames Ralph and sets off in a murderous rage. Ralph is then attacked on all sides. Fear causes him to lash out at the dolls, which turn on him. Judy calls them off, and after some debate, they find Ralph worthy of life. David, however, doesn't and they engage in a struggle in which Ralph and Judy are knocked out. Punch comes to the rescue, but David destroys the heroic doll. Gabriel and Hillary then arrive and explain their magic to David. Horrified by adult bitterness and believing toys contain the heart of childhood, the Hartwicks use the dolls to test visitors. Those that can be saved are given safe passage. Those who can't must start over in a new life as living dolls. All this is relayed while David is transformed into Punch's replacement. The next morning, the Hartwicks play the events off as a dream. They explain that David decided he's not cut out to be a father and has left taking the hitchhikers with him. He has, however, left behind money for two plane tickets so that Ralph can fly Judy back to her mother. They drive off as Judy says that her mom's pretty and asks Ralph if he'd like a daughter. Taking the job based on Band's promo art, Gordon was given carte blanche to make the film he wanted. Usna, however, did require that he include a scene referencing the artwork, which depicted a doll holding its eyes next to empty sockets. This and other effects were created by makeup artist John Carl Beekler, who had previously worked on Gordon's reanimator and From Beyond. Dolls was shot before From Beyond, but it was released after, as some of the stop animation effects delayed post-production. When it was released, it received a mixed reception. Some people just don't get it. Dolls is a whimsical story with parallels to Hansel and Gretel. While clearly horror, Dolls delivers on the premise that the genre's appeal lies in its fantasy and fun. So if you're young at heart, be sure to check it out. But if you're old and bitter, beware. It just might result in a painful experience. Like these features? Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications for future episodes.